Hello, I'm Colm Hanwardy from HostelWorld.com and if you want to know where's the best place to go for pastrami, what are Central Park's highlights, and where's the best place to get views in Manhattan in the Big Apple, don't go anywhere because here are 10 things you need to know about New York. Located on America's east coast, New York is arguably the most famous city in the world. And as you walk down its streets and avenues, you soon realize it's just like it is in the movies. Steam rises from manholes, its famous yellow taxis can be seen everywhere, and there are hot dog stands on every second corner. Now, here is the first of those 10 things. New York is made up of five boroughs. Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, the Bronx, and the best known of all, Manhattan. And this is where you will find most of the city's top attractions. This includes the Empire State Building, Central Park, Times Square, the Chrysler Building, and more. While ferries to the Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island depart from Lower Manhattan. While no trip to New York is complete without a trip up the Empire State Building, for the best views in Manhattan, come here to the top of the rock at the top of the Rockefeller Center. It's got unrivaled views in Manhattan, and it's a great place to get a picture of the Empire State Building and Central Park, which is right behind it. While you'll undoubtedly spend most of your time in Manhattan when in New York, try and visit at least one of the other boroughs. Up in the Bronx you'll find the Yankee Stadium and the Bronx Museum, while Queens is full of ethnic neighbourhoods like the Greek Astoria. And in Staten Island you can visit the Staten Island Museum. Just one stop from Manhattan on the two or three subway line is Clark Street over in Brooklyn. And here you'll find the Brooklyn Promenade, which is as you can see, one of the nicest places in the whole of New York. This promenade can be found in Brooklyn Heights, while other attractions in Brooklyn include Coney Island with its beachfront promenade and the neighbouring Russian area, Brighton Beach. New York is extremely easy to navigate. Manhattan is divided into numbered streets which run from north to south and avenues from east to west. Buses can be handy for getting around Manhattan as can the subway, which is the best way to get to the other boroughs. And at some stage during your stay, you will definitely use one of the city's famous yellow taxis. When getting a taxi in Manhattan, as most of the avenues are one way, try and get one on an avenue that's going in the same direction you are. This may mean having to walk a block or two, but you'll end up saving yourself time and money. And always remember to tip the taxi driver about 15%. New York has a reputation for being an expensive city, but there is actually lots to do here for free. One of the most popular things to do for free is walk the Brooklyn Bridge, while also free and worth visiting are Grand Central Station and St. Patrick's Cathedral. And easily one of the best things to do for free in New York is ride a Staten Island Ferry. The journey takes approximately 30 minutes each way and boasts amazing views of Lower Manhattan and in particular the Statue of Liberty. This is the Met which isn't only one of New York's most famous museums but is also one of the world's most famous museums. Over 5 million people pass through the doors here every year and once inside they get to see everything from collections of ancient Roman art to works by contemporary American artists. Other highlights in the Met include collections of 19th century Impressionist art, a reconstruction of a Chinese scholar's garden, and the Temple of Dender, an actual ancient Egyptian temple which dates back to 15 BC. The Met is located on a part of 5th Avenue known as Museum Mile. Other museums on the Mile include the well-known Guggenheim Museum and the lesser-known New Gallery. Across Central Park on Central Park West is the spectacular American Museum of Natural History. This enormous museum has fascinating collections focusing on dinosaurs, extinct mammals and more. It is also connected to the Rose Centre which is all about astrology. 
Located smack bang in the middle of Manhattan, Central Park is by far the world's most famous city centre park. And to really appreciate it, you need to put by at least half a day to explore it. Highlights of the park include Sheep's Meadow, which is great for just chilling out in, the lake where you can take out rowing boats, the Bow Bridge, which has appeared in numerous films, the Rambles, which is heavily wooded, making it quite unique, the Bethesda Fountain, which is the best known fountain in the park, and Strawberry Fields, the tribute to the late John Lennon. New York shopping is legendary and the most famous place to go shopping is along 5th Avenue, in particular between 59th Street and 47th Street. It is also home to some famous department stores, namely Saks on 5th Avenue, Bloomingdale's on Lexington Avenue and Macy's on Herald Square, the largest department store in the world. If you are a non-US citizen and you're planning on shopping at Macy's, before you buy anything, come here to the visitor centre near the Broadway entrance with your passport. As once you do, you get the Macy's discount card that knocks 11% off most goods. And for bargains, check out Century 21 and Canal Street, both in Lower Manhattan. When it comes to food in New York, it comes down to three Ps. Pizza, pretzels, and pastrami. There are pizza places all over New York, but one of the best pizzerias is John's of Bleecker Street in the West Village. Pretzels can be bought at hot dog stands all over the city, and Katz's Deli in the Lower East Side and Carnegie Deli in Midtown Manhattan are the most famous places to try pastrami. While Katz's and Carnegie Deli are the most famous places to go for pastrami, they are quite expensive. So if you're looking to try the same thing at almost half the price, come here to Eisenberg Sandwich Shop, which is on 5th Avenue between 22nd and 23rd Streets in Manhattan's Flatiron District. They do equally good sandwiches that are far cheaper. Even though it's such a big and busy city, New York is full of villages. South of 13th Street and west of 6th Avenue is the West Village. And here you'll find familiar looking parts of the city thanks to programs like Friends and Sex and the City. Over the other side of Manhattan is the East Village, around St. Mark's Place and 2nd Avenue. And here things are a little bit more alternative. The coolest of these villages is Greenwich Village and in particular around Bleecker and McDougal Street under the Welcome to Greenwich Village sign. It's full of alternative shops and funky cafes. There's a really laid back atmosphere here so you should try and check it out. After the sun sets over New York, there is lots to do after dark. If you're into the theatre, you've got Broadway. While if you're looking for something a little livelier, there are bars galore. And one of the coolest places to go out at night is Greenwich Village. Here you'll find bars like the Red Line which always has live music, the Wild West themed 1849, while Slane is the village's number one Irish bar. New York is also well known for its comedy clubs and one of the best in the city is the Comedy Cellar here on McDougal Street in the middle of Greenwich Village. Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld have both appeared here in the past and if you're looking for something a little bit different, you should check it out. So that is our 10 things you need to know about New York. Hopefully you'll pick up some tips and hints from what you just saw. For a fact sheet on everything that's in this video, log on to www.hostelworld.com forward slash videos and for the biggest and best selection of hostels in New York on the internet, stay in the same site.